CataractCoach.com, the little capsule rexus rescue technique. It's a pretty easy way to save a run out capsule rexus. Let me show you a couple of videos of me operating. So here's a routine case we did recently. You can see starting off, measuring the rexus, getting an idea here. A little bit of zion or weakness there, perhaps. A little bit of wrinkling in the anterior lens capsule. But you can see a nice, good-looking capsule rexus here. Getting that completed pretty easily. Everything looks pretty good so far. And again, this is just a routine cataract case that we're doing here. Now, look what happens over here. As we start to grab the capsule, it kind of wants to run out a little bit. It's going in the wrong direction here. So what do we do? Pull backwards, pull then towards yourself, and then you can complete it. Let me show you that again. So again, as it wants to run out, here it goes, starting to run out. We're going to grab it, and instead of pulling that way, pull backwards. And that'll tear it right back in, and now we can save it and continue. Again, let me show you again. Higher mag. Here we go. As we grab it, it wants to run out, pull backwards and then centrally, and you'll save it every time. Let's show you one more time in slow motion. Again, here we go. As it wants to run out, we're going to pull backwards and then centrally, and then it'll bring it right back into position, and we can continue the case here. So again, nice technique here. You definitely need to learn how to uh, use this to your benefit. Here at the end of the same case, we'll get the eye on the capsule bag. It looks like a single-piece monofocal acrylic lens with toric marks on it. Get that lined up. And you'll see we still have a good overlap of the optic for 360 degrees. So even though that one area tend, tend to run out a little bit, it is okay. We rescued it, brought it back into good position. And you'll see here at the end, we sped the video up here at about two times normal speed here at the end of the case. Get this lined up, and you can see there's the torque marks. Get it lined up with the marks on the cornea. And then there you can see there's the one spot where the Rexes wanted, wanted to run out, but we brought it back in. Here's another video. Going back to Cataract Coach video 149, back in 2018. Look at this. Running out. So we're going to grab it, pull backwards, and then centrally, and you rescue it every time. Look at that. And you can continue. So every once in a while, you're going to need to be able to use this technique to rescue yourself. And you can prevent that rexus from running out. So again, grabbing it here. Here's slow motion. Now set up the scope here so we get a better view. And once we set up the scope, you'll grab the capsule here. Pull backwards now. Remember, pulling backwards. And then pull centrally. So once we grab it and we're pulling backwards, we're set up the scope here. There it is. So with the force that's holding the capsule, pulling it backwards. And now centrally. Here we go. Little tug, little tug. That brings it back. And then pull it centrally, so that brings it right back in. And once it's pulled in centrally and you've got the size you want again, you can continue your normal exit. So again, pulling backwards, and then you pull centrally. There it is. Look at the edge brought right in. And now you can just continue the normal tear here. So again, you definitely know, need to know how to use this. It's July. Young doctors are learning how to do cataract surgery. This technique is going to save you. Make sure you watch the video again if you need to. And remember, check out Retina Rounds, our sister channel. So much great information, especially for young residents like you.